Bryce Blom, the batter. The temperature has finally reached 50 degrees today, and that's strike one called. No pun intended. That ball is drilled to the gap in right center field. It's down. It's going to the fence. And the question is, will it score three? Wallace around third. He's going to run through a stop sign. The throw to the plate, and he is out. Tagged by Honer. Nate Thompson all but tackled Caden Wallace coming around third base. And with the head of steam, he couldn't stop, and Honer put the tag on him. So That ball to left field last at bat was really good. That ball lifted in the air to right field. Does it have enough? The answer is yes. That ball's gone. Goodhart hits his ninth of the year. And the Razorbacks open up a 3-0 lead. How about that? Two home runs, including a grand slam Wednesday. And he's added another long ball. Between innings <laughs> as Caden Wallace steps in, and he chops one up the middle. Well to the left of second base, but that's a base hit. So it looked like Signs might have a chance to escape a quick second, a home run. A long pause before the payoff. That one is hit a mile in the air to right field. Is it fair? It's bending into the corner. That ball is fair, and it's gone. It landed on the ledge inside the foul pole. And Brady Slavens is the first Razorback to double figures in home runs. That fan played the carom, and the Razorbacks have a 5-0 lead. How did he manage to keep that thing fair down into the corner? Well, I think the wind might have helped it because it's. This will get the run home. At least it should. It's going to carry out to the left fielder Boast. Slavens with those big strides. Ambles down from third, and it's a 6 0 game. That was called manufacturing that run right there for Arkansas. You get the walk, the wild pitch. It's been All American that year. Gregory DeBont, he might just beat this one out. Honer's throw is late. Honer did everything he possibly could. That ball's lined to center. Alejo's not going to be able to get there. Webb's going to turn but hold. And Robert Moore has his first hit and three at bat. How about Goodhart? That's uh, the base is not loaded. That one is punched fair inside the bag at first and into the corner. Minnick will play the ricochet. The Razorbacks will try and score three. Goodhart will score after a bobble by Minnick. And Wallace does clear the bases. And the Razorbacks have a 9-0 lead. Battles is going to line one into right center for a base hit. Smith will turn third. He will score. The Razorbacks have reached double figures in runs. It's 10-0. Moore clubs one in the air. Deep right center field. This ball's going to go off the scoreboard and gone. A lightning bolt off the scoreboard and right center from Robert Moore. And it's been all Razorbacks today. 12 to nothing Hawks. Can hit really at all fields and just trying to make contact here. Blom's going to charge. Wallace can run and he just beat it out. Franklin clubs one to right center field. Alejo back. He's going to reach and make the catch. But Wallace will tag and score. Slavens will try to go to second base and he's going to make it barely. And that's the game. Eaton Paulette on the mound, and we're underway with strike one, says Damian Beal. Drives one to the gap in right center field. This ball starts to climb. That ball's going to go. Mac Goodhart hits his 10th home run of the season. And the Razorbacks swinging for the fences and beyond again here in game two. My goodness, do they just pound the baseball. They really do. This is a really good at bat by Goodhart. He's one of those guys that can just get in the groove and, and get scary good. You can see he was right on that pitch. Just a bullet out to right field. It didn't clear by much, but it's gone. And the fans loud and proud with their flags in the stand. And a rip and a miss of so the inning ends, but Troy going back to Wednesday, counting this game. In the last three games, the Hogs have hit 12. Hall brewing here. Drilled to center, and that's another base hit by Caden Wallace. True freshman, all he has done 
since arriving on campus. Just barrel up baseballs. I mean, that's an outstanding pitch by Bryce Miller, player in the country last year. Slavin hits a ball with some spin on it right to Harrison. He steps on second, and the Aggies get the double play. Just to handle that strange spin was one thing for the Aggies. And then the and that liner is fair, and it's into the corner. For the first time today, Texas A&M is about to get a man into scoring position here in game two, and it comes from Frizzell, and that must have felt good after he was 0 for 6 today before that two big. Another one in the air. Opens. Coming back, looking for room. He's got just enough if he can back pedal and put it away. The out was recorded. Opitz made the play. And that ball is drilled in the gap. Right center field. This ball is going to go, and it's going to tie the game. Minnick with the home run. And A&M got the big swing against Arkansas Stopper. Yeah, an 0-2 hanging slider that Minnick didn't miss. You can see that added some big time life to that Aggie dugout. Two strike home run. Look where this ball is. That is a hanging breaking ball right over the middle of the plate. And hit about a third of the way up that. Painted, strike three call. Cops retires three in a row, Troy, after the leadoff home. Locked down this vaunted Razorback lineup. Little flare headed to center, base hit. So Battle's able to. Fight one in the center to begin the bottom of the seventh inning. Roller up the middle, maybe a chance for a double play. Harrison takes it himself, flips to first, and the Aggies work around that leadoff single for the DP Troy. Yeah, really nice. That one is drilled to center for a base hit. Harrison with a wide turn, and then the throw comes in to Nesbitt. And there's a couple of runners on base for Texas A. Inning. Chance for two here. Battles to Moore. That's one. Double play. Inning over. And Kevin Cox able to navigate through his own mini threat in the eighth inning. Little flare out into left center field with the outfielders deep. This thing's going to drop. Huge turnaround first for Moore. And once that ball was bobbled, he was flat-footed, and he was that close to maybe trying to get to second base. Joe's walk to Goodhart, shoots one into left field. That's down, that's a base hit. Moore has to hold at second. Back-to-back -back singles in the bottom of the 10th, and the Hogs have him rolling now, and a chance to walk it off. Ball is waiting. Ground ball to short. See if the Aggies can get two. There's one, the throw to first. It skips to the dugout. Moore's going to race home, and that's how the Razorbacks win it with the throwing air. And here's the celebration. Caden Wallace just about hit into a double play, and now he's running for his life in right center field. Batting 342, and we are underway. Played umpire this afternoon. Lifts end of the year. Well struck, left center field, starting to travel into the wind. That ball's gone. Will Frizzell hits his 12th of the year. Good contact the other way, and Texas A&M has its first lead of the series. Hey, he just felt like Frizzell was going to break out. He's a guy that's too good of a hitter to be kept down for very long. That one's drilled to the gap, and it is going to be down and kicking away, and two runs are going to score. Goodhart will hold it third. Caden Wallace delivers with a two-run double just out of the reach of Sartori. And Arkansas has taken the lead. Hits a little cue shot by the mound. Blom has no play. And another run will score. How about that RBI for Slavens? That thing was snaking through the grass, and Blom almost overran it trying to get it with the breaking ball. We can't have that. See what he does, three and one. Line drive, pass battles in the center. And again, I'm curious with the sequence. First three pitches weren't close. If Frizzell's at first, that run, of course. Third baseman. 
Little flare out into right center field. That's going to drop for a base hit, and the Aggies have a chance to take the lead. The throw from Wallace is offline, and Kostu can't get it. It goes all the way to the backstop, and it's a 4-3 Texas A&M advantage. The block. Moore drives one to rather deep right field, and this game is tied. Home run number eight for Robert Moore. Another laser beam leaving the park. And Arkansas has hit 68 home runs this season, most of any team in D1 baseball. Score, have them loaded here. High fly in the air to right field. This ball starting to carry Wallace back there, giving way to Franklin who makes the catch against the fence. Sartori will tag and score. The other runners also move up. A&M in front. Off the bat, I knew that ball was hit in the air, but I didn't think it was going to get to the fence, and it shows you the spin that Minnick put on it. At a middle infielder. Like that. Bettles will flip to first. That's the second out. The Aggies have two runs this inning without a hit. Yeah, those walks by Razorback pitching have really come back to haunt them. Hammer to right. Another base hit. Honer around third. He is going to score. A&M is up three. And Frizzell is knocked in three. And Arkansas has had no answer. Been good in that sense, and then swing it. That ball's blistered. High and deep to left field. This thing is way out of here. Hunter Coleman just destroyed a baseball. And a three-run deficit goes to six with one mighty swing. Wind or no wind, that ball was absolutely destroyed by Hunter Coleman. Out at the uh, trees. That one is drilled to right. That one's going to go. Yes, sir. A three-run homer by Mac Woodhart. And one big swing cuts that six-run deficit in half. And Goodhart is at five home runs in his last four games. Minnick took out half the fence in right field. He knocked the padding off the wall and everything. How slow and his hands start coming up. Brings that glove up. There's another uh, base hit to right field. Big hit for AM. Blom around third. The throw to the plate is late. That's run number 11 for Texas AM. And they have scored in five straight innings. Court down the line and right. This ball's got a chance to go. Three run homer. Zach Gregory could float around the bases. These fans are engaged again. And from six down, this is a one run game. Joe's walk against Wallace with the game on the line for the second straight contest. And that's a wave and a miss. That's the game, and AM will outlast Arkansas and take it 11 to 10.